going to be making art with toilet paper. So it sounds really silly, but we can actually make donuts using toilet paper, okay? So this is my donut that I made using toilet paper, paint, water, paper towels. And today I'm going to show you how to make your own donut, okay? So first I'm going to show you how to make the actual donut using paper towels and water and then we're going to set the donut to the side to dry and I'm going to show you how to paint it, okay? So the first thing that we want to do is if you have paper towels, I want you to take your paper towel. If you don't have paper towels, you can use your toilet paper for this step as well, okay? But what we're going to be doing is we're making the core of the donut. So I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to crumple it into a ball like this. So see how it looks like a ball? Have you ever done that with notebook paper? Like if you made a mistake on your school homework and they were like, oh, and then you just crumple it up like that. Okay, it's kind of like that. So I'm going to take another sheet of my paper towel or toilet paper, I'm using paper towels, and I'm gonna wrap it around the ball like this and do the same thing. I'm gonna crumple it up. So see how I'm squishing this paper together? Okay, so it keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I want it to get bigger because this is going to be the core of my donut. So the reason that we're using dry paper for the core is because later we're going to be using wet toilet paper. So it's going to take a long time to dry so we want to have as much of the core or the middle of the donut as dry as possible so that our donut isn't too wet. Does that make sense? Okay. So add another sheet of paper towel and another one. And now I have this really nice dry paper towel ball. This is the core of my donut. Okay. So this is comparison with my fist. Your fist might be a little bit smaller than mine, but we can say about fist size. There's my hand, okay? It doesn't have to be huge because remember, it's going to be wet and we want it to dry faster. So I'm gonna take my dry paper towel and I'm gonna set it to the side for a minute, okay? So then the second step, I'm going to use my toilet paper. Okay, so I'm gonna unroll it like this Okay, so see how about how long that is? It's not too crazy long. Don't get so much out. So see how I just kind of folded it? I'm just kind of wrapping it in no particular order. Just fold it together a little bit and then we're gonna dip it into the water. Okay, and then we're gonna kind of pat some of the water at it. I don't want this to be soaking wet, okay? don't. Get it super, super wet, but make sure that it's definitely, it's definitely wet. And the reason we want it to be wet is because it's going to be sticky and we're gonna take our dry paper towel bowl that we put to the side, remember? Okay, and we're gonna take the wet toilet paper and we're gonna attach it. We're gonna stick it together and we're gonna use our hand to shape it so it sticks together. Now. When we start this process, remember, we're thinking about a donut. So keep in mind, what shape is a donut like, right? So imagine if you're eating a donut, how does it feel? How does it feel in your hands? So I'm kind of pressing it together, pretending that this is my donut. Okay, so we're going to repeat this process. So if you have a paper plate or a plate, you can set it down on the surface, okay? See where my white paper is? That's my, that's my paper plate, okay? So I'm gonna repeat this process. Just dab it in the water. It doesn't have to be super wet. We don't want it super wet. And then stick it together. And I'm being a sculptor, pretending like this is my clay because I'm shaping it to how I know a donut is like, so a donut is kind of a circle, right? But this is a three-dimensional circle. And it's kind of flat like this, right? The top and the bottom are kind of flat. So see the shape that I'm starting to make, okay? We're gonna take some more toilet paper. 
do the same thing. I'm just kind of folding it over each other. Okay, dip it in the water. Kind of dab some of the water out so it's not super wet. And I want to cover all of the dry paper towel with wet toilet paper. I want to make sure it's all covered, okay? So when I look on my surface of my donut, everything should be covered by wet toilet paper. I'm going to do that one or two more times. Okay. My toilet paper. Dab it in the water. Now I'm going to put this on the bottom because I kind of, I want my surface to feel as smooth as I can get it without having to tear the toilet paper because remember that it's wet so this is going to tear easily if you're too aggressive with it. Okay, I'm just kind of creating this shape that I really like. I want it to stay smooth. Let's do this one more time. But you can do it as many times as you feel like you need to to make sure that the surface is smooth. The only thing I would say though is don't add too many layers because it's going to get too wet and take too long to dry if you add too many layers of toilet paper and you want to move on to painting it, right? Okay, so here's my donut. See how I've shaped it? Can you, and I would take your pointing finger and your thumb and grab the donut in the middle and press it. Don't press it too hard, but this is where we know we're going to put our donut hole, right? Because donuts have holes. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it out to dry. So you can set this out to dry on, I recommend like a trash bag or a Walmart bag or something that when you know that when the toilet paper starts to dry, it's not going to stick to those surfaces, right? Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side to dry. And depending on how much water is in your donut is going to affect how long it actually takes to dry. My donut actually took several hours to dry, but it's a little bit larger and I used a little bit more toilet paper on this one. So you can expect it might take a few hours to dry, but that's okay. You can set it to the side. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to paint a dry one. So we're going to pretend that this is our donut and now it has dry, okay? So I'm going to take my paintbrush. Here's my paintbrush. The first thing that I'm going to paint is I want to paint the donut hole. Remember how we pressed in the middle to make our donut holes to kind of visualize where they were? So we pressed like this. We said, oh, the donut hole's right here in the center. So what I'm using is black paint because we're imagining that there's a real hole there, right? Okay, so here's my donut. So we're just imagining a donut. So I'm gonna paint a circle in the middle with black. There's my circle. Then I get more black paint and I just fill it in for as long as it takes. So you saw I just dipped my paintbrush in my water, which I can do that now if I want to, to clean the brush because we're done using this water bowl for toilet paper. But I don't want to make this too wet, so don't put too much water on your paintbrush. Um, I would only put water on the paintbrush if you're cleaning it in between colors. So I can put the paint dry on dry like this. Keep painting. Painting, 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 painting. Okay. So there's the center of my donut, okay? 
Okay, so I've cleaned off the black paint from my paintbrush. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the jelly. Do you guys like jelly on donuts? Or icing? Do you like icing on donuts? I think it's really good. So let's pretend that we're doing strawberry ice cream. So it's going to be pink. So when I do this, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's make a circle to show where we're going to put the icing. So it's not going to be on all of the donut. Let's say it's this much. See, so I'm making a ring. It kind of looks like an eyeball now, don't you think? Keep going. Keep going. Okay, so see, this circle shows me where to put the pink. And this is going to be our icing. Or jelly. I think it's icing. Isn't jelly inside the donut? Anyway, so let's paint this pink. Really, you can do whatever color icing you want to. I'm just doing pink because I think it's fun and it pops out at you when you look at it. Isn't it a fun color? It also creates a lot of contrast with the rest of the donut, right? Don't you think there's a lot of contrasting color between the pink and the black? Okay. So you can do this with me at home if you're at the painting stage and we're just going to paint in our icing. Okay. Paint, 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 paint. Paint, 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 paint. paint. Okay. Paint. Okay. So now I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to clean the pink off of my paintbrush. Okay. So, so far I've done the center of the donut and I've done the icing. What is next? Now I'm going to do the body of the donut. Okay. So we're going to pretend that this is like a yellow donut, okay? So I'm using, this color is yellow ochre, but you can use yellow or tan or brown or anything like that or orange, whatever you have at home to make the color of the body of the donut, okay? So see, all that's left on my donut is this white. So I'm gonna paint the rest of the white whatever color I chose. I'm doing yellow, okay? So you can do yellow if you want. And this is kind of like the, the body of the donut. Like sometimes people eat chocolate donuts, so it would be brown. We're gonna have a yellow donut. And we're going to paint it, paint, paint, paint. So you can do this with me at home. And I can clean my brush using my water if I feel like my paintbrush is getting too messy. But remember, I don't want to get my donut too wet, okay? So dry your brush after you clean it. So like if I'm cleaning my brush, here I'm cleaning my brush in the water, you can take a paper towel or toilet paper and it can wipe it clean. And then keep painting. Okay. I want to cover all of the surface that was left white. On this side of the donut, remember, we're only going to do one side of the donut at a time. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Here's my donut. What do you think is missing? Okay, are you guys ready to add sprinkles to our donut? I love sprinkles. Do you like sprinkles? Okay. Let's think about what colors are sprinkles usually. They're kind of like rainbow colors, right? Let's think about what colors are going to add the most contrast to our donut. So usually, let's think about a donut. Usually they put sprinkles on the icing part, right? 
Don't you think so? So what colors are going to really pop out and stand out against this pink that we put down? Maybe, do you think white? Okay, let's try adding white sprinkles. So here's my paintbrush. And I'm going to go to my paint to the side. I'm going to just do a little short, a little short line on the pink like this. Does that kind of look like a sprinkle? Sprinkles are kind of like tiny little rectangles, right? So let's just think about just doing kind of thick, thick and short lines like that. Okay. I'm going to keep repeating this. And when you think about sprinkles, they're kind of randomly scattered on the donut, right? So we can do them in any order that we feel like. We can pretend that they're dancing. We're just dancing all over the icing. See? And a little bit can get on this yellow part too. Don't you think? It's just all over our donut, like we just poured sprinkles on. Can you see my sprinkles? Okay, let's add another color. So we're gonna clean my paintbrush with the water. And take a paper towel my paintbrush off okay let's add what about blue sprinkles you can add whatever color you feel like okay but I'm using blue so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put it on the pink I think I need a little bit more blue paint so it'll show up can you see that there's my blue sprinkle I'm gonna do the same thing go around the pink part of my donut and we're just having a sprinkle party because all our sprinkles are just randomly dancing on the donut okay cool 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 keep dancing keep dancing Okay, so what do you guys think? Here's, we've done one side of our donut. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to the side to dry because we want all of our paint to dry. Do you remember what we just did? We're just gonna paint the other side in the exact same way. So then when I'm done, my donut's gonna have this side and then it's gonna have this side. So now it looks like a real donut.